Hi, good evening. This is Captain Jim Ferrier. I'm a fishing guide out of Homosassa, Florida, primarily big tarpon, redfish, trout, anything else that'll bite a fly. Here at the Florida Cracker, gonna tie uh, just a very simple gurgler. Uh, nothing fancy to it, just something that's easy to tie and works well on just about everything you throw it at. If you come with me right now, we'll get started. Step one of the very simple gurgler. Wrap the shank of the hook. If you're tying it for your use and not just here, you want to use some sort of head cement at almost every stage. Then you get your craft fur, lighter color on the bottom, darker on top. Put the light color on because uh, the fly's going to ride up, so the light color goes on first. Then I usually put in a small piece, just a five or six strands of crystal flash or some other type of flashing material. Then I put a darker color on the back. It can be lime green or you know silver, kind of like maybe a mullet would be or whatever. Once you get that on, then you tie on your Palmer chenille to the back, drape it over your hook um, in the back so it's out of your way. Then you come in and you tie your already pre-cut piece of foam on there. Better to make it too long than too short. You can always trim it off. Uh, you tie that on at the back. Make sure it's snug. Bite it down. Tie it in front of it. Then go back. Same spot. Don't wrap up the foam. You're just wrapping in the same spot. Once you wrap to the eye of the hook, then you palmer your chenille all the way up to the eye of the hook. Tie that off clear it so it's not over the, the eye of your hooks, not in your way. And then simply just fold the foam over uh, from the tail, pinch it tight around the hook so that it's somewhat straight, five or six wraps, snug it down, uh, and then look at it, make sure it's all, everything's all straight, then lock it in, a few more wraps over the foam, and then tie it off and you're done. It's as simple as that. 